Brainiacs, what if we told you that a 17-year-old went for 11 days without sleep? Not impressed? Well, this took place in 1964, a time way before that dreaded five seconds until the next episode Netflix timer. You've all heard that sleep is good for you, but what really happens when you get none of those recommended seven to nine hours of beauty rest? Well, the results aren't pretty. It's a combination of tremors, hallucinations, and in some extreme cases, death. Today, Brainiacs, we look at the science of sleep and how our bodies react to sleep deprivation. Turns out there's more on the line than just a few dark circles under those eyes. The Guinness Book of World Records has set 264 hours, or 11 consecutive days, as the longest amount of time a human has spent without sleep. Randy Gardner, who was 17 years old at the time, stayed awake without any stimulants. We hope he didn't have much to do shortly thereafter because the research demonstrates that after that much time with no sleep, Gardner would barely be able to function. After Gardner, there was only one other attempt to break the world record, but if you're thinking of giving Gardner a run for his money, no organization will longer recognize this record because of its negative health risks. We tend to think of sleep as a time when the mind and the body shuts down, but in reality, sleep is an active period in which our body restores and repairs itself while processing the immense amount of information we absorb in the day. Not to mention sleep plays an integral role in how we solidify and consolidate our memories. So all those times you convinced yourself that it would be a good idea to pull an all-nighter to study last minute for a big test? Turns out a few hours of sleep would have been a better alternative. But let's say, for whatever reason, that within 24 hours you find yourself unable to find the time to sleep. Maybe you regrettably party all night long and find yourself having to go into work early the next day. Or maybe your line of work calls for long periods of time without sleeping. And before you ask, no. Playing video games in your gray sweatpants for days on end does not make you a professional console player. Whatever reason it may be, missing just 24 hours of sleep can affect your ability to operate. Symptoms include impaired decision making, altered perception, tremors, and vision impairments. Unsurprisingly, the longer you stay awake past the 24 hour mark, the more your mental, physical, and emotional processes deteriorate. But what's the absolute longest period of sleeplessness that a human can endure? And what are the consequences? Well, to put it shortly, you die. In fact, sleeplessness or sleep deprivation is a common torture technique meant to wear down individuals who are just not willing to fess up information. Yikes. In an experiment on sleep deprivation done on a single rat, the poor specimen passed after two weeks of no sleep. I know what you're thinking. That's a rat. What about us? non-rats. Well, if you aren't convinced yet, supposedly a lack of sleep cost an elderly Chinese man his life after staying awake for 11 days to watch football. Mind you, he was also drinking and smoking during this time, so sleep deprivation is most likely not the sole culprit responsible for stealing this man's life. But even if you don't stay up for 11 days straight to prove that you're a dedicated football fan, there are some pretty trippy effects of sleep deprivation. There are mini snooze sessions that can last up to 30 seconds. When you don't sleep for days on end, micro sleeps are the way your body insists on getting some shut eye. The trippy part about this symptom of sleeplessness is that within those 30 seconds, people report going blind despite their eyes being wide open. By now, you should have enough information in front of you on why you shouldn't strive to be sleep deprived. If we had to sum it up, sleep is pretty quintessential to our survival as cognitive and functioning human beings. And while seven and I Nine hours of sleep helps our bodies with our minds to process the passwords to your YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok accounts. These other Brainiac survival videos may also help. But TikTok aside, research suggests that limiting daytime naps, caffeine intake past noon, exercising regularly, and refraining from using electronic devices right before bed can help immensely with your ability to sleep safely and soundly at the end of the day and avoid the effects of sleep deprivation. Unless you want to be found by your date asleep sleep while standing up in the shower, or better yet, show up for a presentation at work only to realize that you open your briefcase and it's a board game of guess who. You laugh, but these are real stories. We suggest that while there may be so much of the world to see, sleeping at the end of the day will be a great benefit to you. If you enjoyed what we had to say about sleep, don't forget to like our video and subscribe to Brainiac for more ways to win at life. I mean, you know that saying, you snooze, you... Until next time, Brainiacs.